Congratulations on the gold ball. Right, Coach, if you could begin by giving us your thoughts and look at the game and share also what you're thinking. Yeah, uh, obviously very pleased to be a, sitting here with a gold ball in hand. Uh, you know, it's it's been a, it's my seventh year and you know, these guys started in second, third grade, whatever the math is on that. But uh, be able to be with these guys as their coach, having a, a son on the team, pretty special and, and to see that all the way through and to have it be rewarded uh, with, a, with a championship at the end is pretty sweet. So as far as the game goes, it's off to Rice Lake. Uh, I thought they competed their tails off and, and made us earn it, which is the way we wanted it to be. And um, you want to feel like you, you had to earn the, this one and those kids battled. So congratulations to them. All right, we'll take some questions then. Rob. When did you hear today about Ellenson and, and maybe for you specifically, Tarek, how did it uh, kind of change your day? Yeah, um, we were kind of sitting at breakfast this morning, team breakfast, and we were seeing tweets going around and stuff about whether or not he's playing. But we just we tried not to pay attention to it, and we prepared like he was playing because you never know. And so, you know, obviously he's a great player, and he's going to have an effect on every game he plays. But... As far as our strategy defensively, we didn't change too much, really. Um, obviously, you're going to have a lot, a lot of help on him, but as far as we just stayed to fundament, fundamentals on him pretty much throughout the whole defense. Um, yeah, we just stick to our uh, cap defense with him. I mean, Tarek would uh, on him more. Um, but, you know, if he's there or not, we're still going to stick to our gap defense, and that's what we did. With four bench guys and Drew, late in that first quarter. I mean, it kind of had the feel like you might pull away early, but, but clearly you didn't. Yeah, I mean, that. Uh, I think that's easy to say when things like that happen. You know, did they let up? And, you know, I don't, I don't think so. It's a state championship game. We're not going to let up. And, and I had, we subbed the same way we subbed in game one. You know, about the four-minute mark, we get the bench guys in there and get the starters a little break. And, Drew tends not to come off the court too much, so uh, that was that's been the pattern all year long. So that wasn't any different from a coaching perspective. Balancing out that uh, maybe this would be the night to get it inside, and and that kind of elevated your game. Yeah, um, I looked inside a lot, um, took it off the dribble as well because they're an overplay team. But yeah, there was uh, some mismatches out there, and um, you know if I got in the post, if it wasn't there, I'd always kick it out and. Uh, Players made plays, so, yeah. That you're going through after having won a state championship for your school and your community for the first time since 1941. Start. Yeah. Um, words can't really describe, you know, what you're feeling right now. I don't think it's even close to sinking in for any of us just because of how surreal it is. Um, couldn't be happier for the whole community who the support has just been unreal, not just throughout playoffs, but throughout the whole season, really. They've stood with us no matter what, and I couldn't be happier for the whole team and the whole village. I guess for me, it's it's just uh, an accumulation of, of everybody that's ever played for Mount Horb. Uh, everybody has a little piece in this first one, certainly, and, and I truly mean that. Uh, not just the players I've coached, but you know, my dad was the coach in the 80s and, and assistant in the 70s, so I grew up with those coaches. Uh, Coach under Coach Shanks in the 90s and Coach Thompson in the 2000s. So all those coaches that fell a little bit short, uh, you know, this is for them as well. I'm glad we did it for our community, our fans, and for ourselves. Uh, we deserve this, and I can't describe how it feels right now, and it's amazing, and I can't wait to get back home and um, share that gold ball with our community.